Uh, we're here to celebrate Mr. John Laurie's 70th birthday, folks. Oh, fantastic. Oh. How about a happy birthday call to oh, John? Hey, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Yes. And not only that, we want to sort of get into... Uh, uh, John was in the clan when I was in the clan. I think I came later. And uh, he was the youngest in the clan back then. Uh, the, what are some of the memories of the clan days that you have with me in it? I was plucked from obscurity <laughs> from a small band that I had. Uh, we were playing in and around Tewart Hill in the Dog Swamp area. And the next thing I know, I was playing piano at a recording session at Channel 9 with, in my eyes, some of the superstars of um, Perth music scene at the time. Fantastic. And I was very young. I was 18, 19 or so when all this was happening. So Beatles, Beatlemania had just started and it was sweeping the world and was certainly sweeping um, Western Australia. So for me it was a, a huge privilege to play with the calibre of musicians, um, Glenn Ingram, Jim McRobert, yourself, um, Russell Kennedy in time and, and so on and so forth. It was really quite an interesting time for a, for a young man coming um, up in the music business. John, uh, remember when the clan broke up, um, you decided to form the new clan because all the other guys sort of uh, drifted away? into what they had to do, and uh, you took over the new clan. Who yes. was in that? Yes. Um, well, that too was kind of interesting because, um, you know, I had a wife and a couple of kids and um, no band, basically. And the only model that I had for a band was a band that had two male lead singers, piano, drums, bass and guitar. So what I did was to try to find the same lineup, but obviously mm -hmm. with different people. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't think laterally to have a girl singer or two girl singers or anything else. It was just let's try and make a new band around the same model as the old band. So at the time there was a band in Perth called the Orange Marmalade and it was kind of like an easy fit for me that, that out of Orange Marmalade I got a bass player and a drummer and a guitar player <laughs> and all I had to do was to find a couple of singers and almost immediately we, we had a, a new clan and that's what I did. Um, and we put that band together. So who, who was in that band? Um, Ken Firth was in that band. Johnny Hall was in that band. Uh, Brian Parkinson played bass yeah. in that band. Um, Greg Wynn, God bless him, sang and what a talent, played bass. Man. What a talent. Um, as well. Um, Bones Ironside came to play drums. And at the end of the day, it was a mini clan. And unfortunately for me, one, one of the worst experiences of my life, but at the same time the most wonderful experience, was the night at Top Hat when we introduced the new clan to the 300 people that were the, in the nightclub. And the first set was the old clan. And, you know, we started with, I remember this as it was yesterday, we started with Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club's band. And re uh, <laughs> Ray and Glenn sang like they'd never sung before. It was the most amazing set of music. Mm. And after that, of course, the new clan had to play. And I don't think the boys were in the nightclub. It all disappeared because it was just too much of an act to follow. Sure. But we did. And the new guys came up. And I think the first song that we, we sang was Greg Wynn singing um, um, a, a Dion Warwick song. Um, which And he nailed it. Walk on, walk on, on by. And it was absolutely ah. fantastic. Mm -hmm. So... The boys really performed, so I was very proud, I was nervous as all hell, but at the end of the night I had two wonderful experiences with two completely different bands, two com age group difference between um, both of them. Um, it was a wonderful experience. So John, uh, how, did, how did you feel when, uh, when you got uh, the call to uh, join the Tenonists in Singapore? Well Ray, I'll tell you what, it was just what I needed, really just what I needed. One, because I'd seen the band before they'd gone to Singapore, and I thought they were a great band. But also, the band I was in didn't want to know about travelling anywhere, because as the years had gone by in that band, mm -hmm. they'd got married and engaged and didn't want to travel. And I can understand that, but it was stopping me from doing anything. So when I got the call, grabbed it straight away. I remember I had to get my passport together within a couple of days and Peter know I also had to get papers signed to get divorced from my wife before she'd let me leave the country so Peter Nell drove me down to Albany drove down in the morning got my wife to sign the papers drove back to Perth 
next day in for the injections they gave me all at once <laughs> arm came up like this and then I was on the plane the next weekend wow wow and, 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 and it was the day they put me on was my birthday I was blind drunk when I got when they pulled me on the plane and when I got there these guys had organised a bit of a drink up because it was my birthday still <laughs> yeah that's incredible. Yeah. What a story, huh? And uh, just it was one of the biggest breaks I've ever had. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you to my All mate John of this Laurie. man, the birthday boy. Yeah, yeah you're Good very welcome, you, John. with uh, there's so many variations of the clan they had the old clan the new clan and another new, new version of the clan and uh, Lindsay tell yes. us that story John and Tom saw what was in Singapore and the clan that went up were not appropriate but they knew what was came back and formed the clan here looking at Singapore uh, it was a delightful time and like uh, John Lemin was saying, it was uh, the right time and the right place um, that I was asked to join and uh, the version that I was in uh, started with uh, Daryl Chance, Sue Roundsville, John Laurie obviously. Um, Tony Malloy. Sorry? Tony Malloy. No, he, no? Came, he came later. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a oh, great story within itself. That. Um, have I missed anybody, John? Yeah. Who was no, the no. bass player? No, yes. Wasn't. That was no, no, that wasn't. Oh, so then, then we formed, ah. and we were always. No, right hand. <laughs> we were always. Um, John Laurie had come back from Singapore. John and Tom Graney, of course, had come back from Singapore and seen what was working up there in the show band international mm. scene, and knew that they could put together a band that would work there. Uh, and came back with that in mind as the basis to form uh, the clan which I was asked to join. Uh, and then that took place, and you're right, there, w there was no bass player at that time. We went to Kalgoorlie, uh, to Sylvester's nightclub. We were up there, I think, for a month or so, and we basically rehearsed every day, played every night, and put the band together, the, or the band came together that way. And then at some stage, was it you, uh, John, who was in the, who went down to the music shop and said, uh, oh, there's a bass player down there. And Tony Malloy came up and rehearsed and he was straight into the band. Now, something, John Laurie, that I don't think you know, is that sometime later, I went back to Kalgoorlie with the Times and I did a radio interview there with a gent, I've forgotten his name, and he was saying, oh yeah, Tony Malloy and the clan. Oh, we thought, we thought you guys were just using him up. We thought they will just get down to Perth and ditch him out, and, you know. <laughs> and, and I was, I, I just laughed. I laughed out loud on the radio. And I said to him, I said, no, no, that, that, was, never the, that was never the ploy. As far as we were concerned, Malloy was, was in yeah. and that was it. It was a done deal. We, we, we had the band that was, that was going to go and yeah. going to travel. And it did. I just want to say what a fantastic night it's been celebrating uh, John Laurie's birthday, his 70th birthday, bringing all these wonderful memories together. Delightful. Uh, fantastic memories. And also, uh, what a shame uh, Mr. Glenn Ingram couldn't be here uh, due to um, whatever reasons. Health. Health reasons, and uh, we wish him all the very, very best. We do. Uh, Jim McRoberts, the original bass player. Jazz. Uh, Jazz bass player, what a bass yeah, player! Yeah. Um, Kevin Rankton yes. passed passed away. So yeah. that's about it. Um, this is for John Laurie, his seventeenth birthday. Happy birthday, John! Happy birthday, John! Hey, eh? happy birthday, yeah. John! Happy yep. birthday! Take care. God bless. Amen. <laughs>